idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bull Blunt and sometimes shocking video and testimony in day one of the public hearings on the Capitol attack. And here's the deal. Five people from Northern California are still facing charges in connection to the attack on the U.S. Capitol. ABC 10's Becca Habegger is looking into their cases and hearing from attorneys. The five Northern Californians accused of crimes related to the attack on the U.S. Capitol are at various stages in the legal process. Two of them have even pleaded guilty at this point, one as recently as April. Ricky Wilden of Oakhurst, originally facing eight charges, took a plea agreement pleading guilty in April to just one of them, assaulting, resisting, or impeding certain officers. In exchange, he is cooperating with investigators. He admits to spraying a U.S. Capitol police officer with a chemical irritant and then throwing the canister at officers as well as entering the Capitol. Wilden's attorney replied to our request for comment saying on August 5th, Mr. Wilden will be sentenced for his participation in the J6 incident. Our hope is to show the judge how Mr. Wilden's difficult life experiences led to his conduct on that day and to obtain the most compassionate sentence we can. The other Northern Californian who has pleaded guilty is Valerie Erke from Calusa County. Originally facing four charges, she too took a plea agreement pleading guilty a year ago to parading, demonstrating, or picketing in a Capitol building. She admits to entering the Capitol building for a short time. Court documents show this Facebook post of her saying, we made it inside right before they shoved us all out. I took off when I felt pepper spray in my throat, LOL. Sean McHugh from Auburn faces eight charges and is considering a plea agreement. In the meantime, he has a date set for a jury trial in October. Prosecutors say he pushed a large metal sign into law enforcement officers and sprayed a chemical irritant at them. These are screen grabs included in court documents. Tommy Allen from Rockland faces six charges and is also considering a plea agreement with a plea hearing set for August. Prosecutors say he entered the Capitol and is shown here in the Senate chamber where they say he stole documents from a desk. George Riley of Sacramento faces six charges and has a jury trial set for next April. He posted many photos to his Facebook page that day, including selfies shown in these court documents, along with a post saying, hey, we're storming the Capitol. What are you doing? Prosecutors say he entered the Capitol and that in a video, Riley admits to going into House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. I think Americans need to counter that by knowing what really happened and knowing how dangerous that really is. Sacramento attorney Mark Reichel is not connected to any of these cases, but as a former federal public defender with more than 30 years in federal practice handling national security cases, Reichel says he has been closely following developments in the January 6th attack and hopes people pay attention to the House committee's findings. It's extremely important because democracy only functions if there's an informed electorate. This is really a history lesson for everyone. We did reach out to the attorneys for each of the five accused Northern Californians. Not everyone got back to us immediately.